Hello, I'm Atuba George. I'm so, listen, there is something about this year that is staring up in my spirit. I'm telling you the truth. There is an excitement in my spirit. It's something that I cannot describe clearly. But hey, I know it's not just for me. I know it's for you also. Praise God. Listen, can we, can we just come for that daily bread with joy? So much joy and energy in your heart. Can you, can you join me now? Even as we call it for say with me, say, Father, I receive today my daily bread. It's coming to me now. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. It's coming. It's coming. You will share your testimony today. And Father, we give you praise for this opportunity to bring forth your truth. Holy Spirit, Jesus said you will guide us into all truth. That's what we've been experiencing all week on this broadcast. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Even right now, declare burdens are being lifted by your truth. Yokes are being destroyed by your truth. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Walk by faith and you will see the results that God is bringing in your life. Hear me. The Spirit of God told me, say, son, I'm stepping up this year and I'm fully in charge. <laughs> now, now I'm telling you this. I told you that towards the end of last day. This is not a year to talk about demons. This is not a year to talk about the devil. He, he's, he's been locked up somewhere. He can't operate this year. I'm telling you the truth. I'm not saying this to deceive you. What I'm telling you is focus on the Lord Jesus. Focus on the Lord Jesus. The moment he's giving you a command, don't go and start talking like some people. Ah, pastor, you know, ah, God have told me that this year will be great. Hmm. Oh, pastor, hey, I know my village people will not allow me to be great. So, hey, I have decided. I am, hey, no, 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 no. Don't decide based on the thoughts of the weekend. Simply obey the Lord. If the Lord tells you, get up and go to Lagos, get up and travel abroad. When he tells you that, get up. Why are you getting up? The Lord said I should get up. Why are you getting up? The Lord said I should do it. That's, that's your reason. And if any demon that stands in front of you, you don't need it. You don't need one hour fast. You say, get out. Because this year, you're like a moving machine. You will clear everything that is on your way. Not because you intend to clear it. But because you intend to move in the direction that the Lord is leading you to move. You are too urgent to fulfill his truth. You are too urgent to obey his command. That anything that stands against you, it will be cleared. No question about it. It will be cleared. That's the manner of the year that we are in. So no quarreling with anybody, no striving with anybody, no fighting with anybody. I'm telling you the truth. When you see strife come, step back and say, Lord, I know we should not strive. So what would you have me do in this situation? Sometimes the Lord will say, be still, keep quiet. Let me handle this for you. And he'll fix it himself. And then you step in and continue what you're doing. And sometimes he'll tell you, no, go this other way. Oh, thank you, Lord. Should I leave it? Say, leave it, go. Now, why would you leave it? The one who's telling you to go can give you something better. So don't strive. Don't strive. But don't be foolish also. Understand what I'm saying? Don't be foolish. See, the fact that he says, don't strive. Doesn't mean when someone says, say, ah, no, I don't want to fight, you can have it. No, step aside. Don't, don't join in the quarrel. Step aside and say, Lord, what would you have me do? I, I don't want to strive because I, I know you don't like strife. But what would you have me do? And wait for his voice. And most times his voice comes in standing in such situations. I told you the reason you don't hear his voice is because you're not paying attention to it. Now, you see this action you just took? That I'm explaining now. You step aside. Now they're striving. Normally you say, what do you mean? Do you think you can take? You think? You know, no, 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 no. Don't. The moment you get in there, you're shutting down the voice of God. I'm telling you, you're shutting down the voice. Learn these things. That's how we walk with him. Don't strive. But be smart. Step aside. The moment you see strive raging, step aside, say, Lord. Because your mind has to be, your mind has to be clear. Say, Lord, what would you have me do? Is what you tell me that I would do? 
If it's something that is your possession indeed, and Satan is trying to take it, I'm telling you, he will tell you, don't, don't, don't say a word. I'll handle it for you. And he will raise up somebody that will fight the fight for you. Oh, you've not seen that before. <laughs> he will just raise up. You will just get back and hear that. Ah, you don't know what happened there. I said, no. What happened? Are you not the one that told Susan? No. Are you serious? No. Ah, somebody came here and fought Amin here. If you see how he was speaking, he threatened everybody and said, if he hears, are you serious? So, so what's going on now? Ah, okay, go and take your tea now. Ah, just like that. Yeah. Lord, have you cleared the way? Now, you see what you're doing? You are acknowledging him. That's what, that's what um, David said to his son Solomon in the book of Proverbs. He says, in all your ways, acknowledge him. What's going to happen? He will direct your path. This is the manner of this year, 2022. This is the manner of the year. Don't fret. Don't let anything take you or distract you from him. Every step of the way, acknowledge. So even when you think the road is now clear, don't just rush. You say, Lord, the road seems clear. Uh, what do you think? Should I go? I say, son, I have handled it. Go and possess. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And then you step. And that is how you will be feared by men. You will not be feared by men when you fight with you. If you want to try me, I will show you that I have power. Yeah, I will show you that my God is big. They won't fear you now. They won't. Even if evil happens to them, they will still not fear. They will fear you when you say, ah, you want to fight? No, I don't fight. Oh. You want it? Ah, I'm leaving you. And then tomorrow, they see that they cannot possess it. And then you come back and say, can I have my own now? I say, take it. There you go, take. That's how fear, that's how God brings fear of you in the hearts of men. Learn this, learn this. It's a new year, so learn. Learn. Everything you do this year, two things you must be conscious of. Be accurate. And it must be by faith. It must be by faith. And those of you that God is calling into political office, hear me. The way and manner you get there is what will determine if God is going to be with you in that place. And God may have called you to be there. You struggled your way and got there. He can't be with you if you struggled. He can't be with you. God can actually lead you there and now you are there. And you can, you start struggling to keep your seat. The Spirit of God will depart from you. Remember, he who brought you to this place, or he who have said, see, this is fulfillment of prophecy. That's what I was telling you yesterday. Spend time before the Lord. If you need to take some days off and you haven't done it yet, do it. Go before the Lord and say, Lord, what's your plan for me this year? I want to know what your plan is for me. Because sometimes God has spoken to you about some things in the past and you waited for them. You struggled to get them to come to pass. They didn't come to pass. And now you're a bit confused. Relax. Take out some time. Don't, don't say, Lord, I want to. No, no, no. This is not time to say, Lord, I want to. This time to say, Lord, what's on your mind for me? What would you have me do? I want to know what you have me do. And the Lord begins to speak to you and begins to give you pictures and begins to show you those things. And soon, confirmations will begin to come from the outside. And that's what I told you all week. Don't struggle to fulfill any prophecy. Not even in prayer. Don't struggle in prayer. You see, Jesus said something in Luke chapter 18. He was speaking of it. He was speaking a parable and said the reason he spoke the parable was that men ought to men ought always to pray and not to faint. Goody. And then he gave a story about this judge, unjust judge. And then this woman kept troubling and troubling until he said, Look, even if I don't fear man, because this lady is troubling me, let me give out. And, and, and Jesus said, That is how God will avenge his servants who cried to him night and day. But then he said something afterwards that many people have always overlooked. 
He said, nevertheless. Let me read it. Luke chapter 18. Luke chapter 18. You need to say this for yourself. So, it, I mean, what you see will stick. Book of Luke chapter 18. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Verse 6. Verse 6. Oh, let me read verse. Uh, let me start from verse 6 now. He said, Then the Lord said, Hear what the unjust, unjust judge said. And shall, not, and shall God not avenge his own elect, who cry out day and night to him, though he bears long with them, I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. And look at what he says next. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man comes, will he really find faith on the earth? Now, why would he say nevertheless? Now, you know, nevertheless, I mean in English, English now, nevertheless negates what he just said. He said you know, I'm going somewhere, I'm supposed to go somewhere, but nevertheless. He says, okay, so, so he says, Nevertheless, when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on the earth? What's he talking about? This is faith that I'm talking to you about. Those who believe that they don't need to struggle to get God's word to be fulfilled. Listen, you pray because you're supposed to pray. You fellowship, your fellowship with God must be tight. So that's why you must pray. But I'm not, not sitting and saying, God, you said this prophecy. You told me this word, Akapaya, Reke, it must come to pass. Every demon that is struggling, no, no, that, that's, that's a waste of time. I'm telling you, that's a waste of time. Are there demons? Yes, there are demons. Are there principalities and powers? Yes, there are principalities and powers. But guess what? Who's the head of all principalities and powers? It's the head that is telling you to go where you're going to. See, live your life of obedience and let me see that devil that will be able to stand against you successfully. The reason for all this fasting and prayer people do against demons is because of lack of obedience in their lives. So people think our work is to be praying 10, 20 hours because of the demons. No, sir. We pray in fellowship with him. I can spend hours praying, not because I'm trying to challenge one thing. I spend hours praying because I want to know the mind of God. Now, that's what I can spend hours trying to get. The moment I know his mind, I step out in boldness. Let me see that devil. I'm telling you the truth. So there is no hunter of your destiny anywhere. The only hunter of your destiny is your unwillingness to fulfill that destiny because you need to obey the voice of God. So your unwillingness to stay in one place and hear the voice of God so that you will obey him, that has become your problem. If you would change that in your life, if you would change that, if you would shut down and say, you know what, I will know God's word, I will know God's mind concerning me. This year, I will know God's mind concerning me. Shut off your phone. Lock yourself in. Get your Bible. The only reason your phone will come on is when you want to search out some certain scriptures. Every communication, stop. This is a serious year. I want to be accurate this year. Ah, then you're ready to do business with God. And the moment it begins to come, then you know that's all I've been talking to you all week. Listen, if you have not listened to, go back, go back, get from Monday all the days of this week. And let the light of God begin to shine in your spirit. This year is different. The spirit of God is so ready to bless you and prosper you and use you. I pray the Holy Spirit will take you from where you are and begin to open up to you his plans and his visions for your life. And I pray you will find the courage in your heart to rise up and fulfill God's will for your life. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Listen, today is Friday. So take time. Listen to the series again. And may the Lord open your understanding and bless you. I'll see you next week. Until then, God bless you. Bye.